All right, guys, so here we have the packaging for the subject to Block Party DJ headphones. As we can see here, they come in a white and neon green variety and a black and red. Those are the only two options that they come in. And inside the packaging, it's not much at all. It's just a blister pack with the headphones, and it does include a 6.3 millimeter headphone adapter, gold plated headphone adapter, in case you do need that. They come standard with 3.5. Let me go read, read the back of the box and just give you guys the quick specs on, on everything about these headphones. The driver units on these are 57 millimeters. The impedance is 64 ohms. The sensitivity is 108 decibels. The frequency response goes from 15 hertz to 30 uh, kilohertz. And it, like I said, it's a 3.5 jack, regular jack, and it does include that 6.3 gold plated adapter as well, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys the white and neon green headphones. They're right over here. And let's go ahead and talk about these headphones. Now, first off, it comes with a really long cord, plus it has this crunched up part right here, which makes it even longer for you to extend it. So that right off the bat is really long. One thing to keep in mind though, I will mention to all you guys who are iPhone owners or iPod Touch, whatever, if you have a, a case on your iPhone or iPod that has a small hole for the, the plug, this plug is a little bit larger than the average headphone jack plug. As you can see right there, it's a little bit big. So I had, when I was testing these out, I had to make sure that I either had to take my iPhone out of the case or make sure that the case actually worked with this. So there's one thing to keep in mind because that thing is a little bit larger. Now guys, my first uh, initial response when I saw these headphones is they seem like kind of youthful maybe a little bit younger, maybe something that teenagers might be more interested in, college kids, that type of thing. You're not gonna see a businessman walking around, you know, the airport with these headphones on his head. That's just, you know, just the way, that's just the style. That's just the kind of target audience that they're going for with these headphones. But keep, even though they do have like a toy, plastic kind of look to them, the overall sound quality that these put out is really decent. I use these when I was watching movies, listening to music, working out, doing yard work outside. Uh, just hanging around my office. I even use these on, on our stick cam, our live stick cam show when I was uh, doing the, the TV, the, our webcast on there. I was using these headphones with that as well. So the overall audio quality is really decent. I, I just, I just kind of wish the outward appearance was a little more upscale, I guess, a little kind of matched the, the audio quality because like I said, they do look really youthful and they do look like something that's maybe a little bit more for teenagers or maybe, maybe college kids, I guess. But the overall comfort and fit is really nice. They are adjustable, of course, so you can adjust them. They have really nice padding and foam padding right here and the inside cans. It's really a, it's really foam and really comfortable to wear in your ears. So as you can see here, these do rotate and flip around and depending on however you want to be wearing them. Um, my favorite part about them though is that if you put them in like this, fold them up, they do fold up and they make it really small so you can travel with them. All you gotta do is pop it in like that, wrap the cord around it, stick it in your backpack and it doesn't take up much space at all. So these uh, earphones, headphones retail for $70. So a little bit higher priced, but uh, like I said, the overall sound quality is really decent. I'm not gonna say whether or not I feel they're worth $70, but the overall, like I said, the sound quality is really good. The out outside appearance, like I said, more targeted to the youth, you uh, younger guys, teenagers, uh, maybe college students, that type of thing. So um, my experience overall with them has been really good though. You can check these out at subject.com, that's S-U-B, J-E-K-T, like it says right there, subject.com. You can check out these headphones. They have a couple other headphones to pick from there as well, but for this particular style, they only come in the white and neon green or the red and black. Okay, guys? So that's gonna be it for me today. If you personally own these, this, uh, this pair of headphones, why don't you post a comment below and tell us how your experience has been with them? How, have you enjoyed using them as much as I have? I'd love to hear what you have to say. And that'll be it for me today, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video review.